It was snowing in Dragonvale. The New Year's Eve party at school was a success, as the students were back to school from being home with their families for the holidays. Since the snow was falling, Celeste was outside with Jack as they were playing in the snow together. So much snow is falling today. I wonder how much are we supposed to get, Jack wondered. My dad senses that we're supposed to get a blizzard, Celeste replied. It is a bad storm, and we're supposed to get one here. How does your dad know these things? Jack asked. I'm not sure. He just knows, Celeste said. I wonder if it's the worst snowstorms we've had in years, Jack asked. What do you mean the worst? Celeste replied, questioning him. Last time we had the worst snowstorm was 15 years ago, Jack answered. We were kids back then. Whoa, that just sure been years. I was a little girl at the time, Celeste said, as she and Jack suddenly felt the cool, chilling breeze. Brrr, starting to get cold. Celeste, Jack, come inside, Nathaniel shouted. From the front of the doors of the school, Celeste and Jack wasted no time and ran towards the school doors. As soon as they ran inside, the doors were shut. That storm looks like it's starting, Celeste said. This is the worst form snowstorm in 15 years, I believe. It sure looks like it. I'm not sure how much snow we'll get during this storm, Nathaniel replied. Best to stay warm and stay inside. As everyone was in the academy, the school was canceled to the students living outside of it. Most of them seemed to be happy to get a snow day, meaning that there was no school. While looking outside from the window, Celeste can see that there was a blizzard outside. Man, that storm looks really bad. It's probably the worst snowstorm in 15 years, so Lydia started, walking into Celeste's bedroom. It is, and I think there's freezing rain out here too, Celeste replied. How do you know that? Lydia questioned. Because I can't seem to open my window. It's stuck, Celeste said, trying to push the window open, but to no avail. Looks like that storm is getting worse, Lydia stated, seeing the storm outside the pickup. We're going to have to make sure the fire stays up in the school. It will be a while before it dies down. Same. I think I'll make something for dinner, Celeste said, picking up and getting up from her desk and headed towards the kitchen down to the lower level of the school. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Celeste was looking at the stuff on what to eat for dinner. While looking, she found some vegetables and took them out of the cupboards. Then she began to chop up the vegetables with the help of Jack. Nancy came inside the school from the cold. Mom, are you okay? Jack asked, seeing his mother shivering from the cold. Nancy, how long were you outside? Celeste questioned as well, rushing to her side. I was outside for a while. I had to go to the village. Nancy shivered, but was too cold to speak much. Fire is going good. What happened? Lydia asked, seeing how cold Jack's mother is. My mom's freezing cold. She was at the village. Jack answered Lydia's question. Oh, that's right. I forgot that she was going to get some food for the school. Nathaniel has it. I think Nancy might have hyperthermia, Lydia said, fetching some warm clothes for Nancy. Once Celeste and Lydia changed Nancy into some warm clothes, they had her by the fire at the dinner hall. The fire was keeping Nancy warm, but Jack was worried that she wasn't going to make it. What if my mom doesn't make it? Jack asked Celeste in the kitchen. My father is monitoring her. So is Lydia and the others, Celeste reassured Jack. She's not going to die. As long as she is by the fire in dry clothes, she'll be okay. How do you know that, sweetheart? She would have died out there in the cold if she didn't return here, Jack said in a paranoid state. I know what you mean. What matters is that she is here and that she's safe, Celeste replied, calming Jack down. I almost had a frostbite years ago, before Lydia came here. You almost did? How did it happen? Jack asked. I'll tell you this story, Jack. It does have a happy ending, but the situation I was in wasn't. Celeste began as she began to tell the story to Jack. It was a couple years back, and I was 14 at the time, and it was during the winter. Since the winter is the coldest season of the year, we had really cold months. January and February were the coldest ones. 
we had extreme a lot of extremely cold days and they would get so cold in fact that people would get frostbites within a few minutes since the warmth from the fire is our source of heat we are always prepared for extremely cold days in the winter some workers would have to pull through the extreme cold days even wearing layers of clothes to stay warm it was a risky move for them but most managed to pull through the coldest days young children were kept indoors with the heat as they along with the sick and elderly are most likely to get of hypothermia and or frostbites from the cold the students didn't want to go outside during the extreme cold but I did as I had to go into town with my father I had to go as he needed my help with something I would have suggested another day when it wasn't so cold but I decided to bite the bullet and went along with it it wasn't long until I got down to, into town that is where my hands started to freeze I tried sitting on them but it wasn't much help I pulled myself through it during the trip there and during the time we were there my dad took a look at my hands on the way back he was shocked to see them red and freezing we hurried back to the school while I sat on the cart shaking from the cold while the breeze and the air were bitter and I was afraid of getting a frostbite my dad was worried the most when we got back to the school I was rushed inside the warm place that had a fireplace once I was changed into warm clothes and sat by the fire in the hopes of warming my hands up a doctor came to check on me as soon as he saw my hands and examined them he said that I was lucky that I didn't get a frostbite while out in the extreme cold I had to rest and stay indoors for a while but after the extreme cold days were over I was back to my own self again but I had to remember to stay indoors during extreme cold days and dress as warm as I could if I was going outside Mittens will help protect my hands. Same with a coat, boots, and other clothes. And that was my story, Jack. Celeste finished telling Jack the story. Wow, you almost got a frostbite that long ago? Jack said in shock. At least you're okay. When people get frostbites, doctors have to amputate the arm. Arm or limb or whatever. Good news, Jack. Your mother is going to be okay. She has no frostbites. But she will be staying indoors till the extreme cold is over lydia spoke up that's great news that she'll be okay now that dinner's ready let's go and eat celeste said as she and her friends remained inside of the school for the remainder of the extreme cold day